Hello, how are you doing? I'd like to read to you today one of my favorite Bible passages. It's from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Now I've read this so many times over the years, and during this time of physical distancing and social separation and slowing everything down, I am reading it in a new way. And I wonder if your favorite passages are revealing new things to you as you read God's word at such a strange time in our history. So I hope that God is revealing new insights to you and giving you comfort and strength through his word. And I wanna share how this passage from Hebrews has been sounding a little different to me now during these days. When I have read this in the past, I've always focused on that crowded stadium, cheering people, runners on the track, running close together, neck and neck, trying to get to the finish line. I've always focused on the crowd, on the cheers, on the race, on speed, on trying to get to God's finish line. But now it's hard to imagine a stadium full of people. And it's hard to imagine runners close together, crowded on a track, all re reaching the same place. So now, instead of focusing on speed or on those words run and race, I'm noticing a different word when I read this passage, and it's the word persevere. Now, we don't know how long this season of social distancing will last, and I know that for you and for so many people, Plans have been canceled or postponed, events have been suspended, even meeting and worship is something we're not doing physically together right now. And we don't know how long that'll last. We're doing our best to get through every day, aren't we? So we are being called right now to persevere. We're being called to hang on, to keep going, and to not give up. We are persevering in the face of uncertainty and slowness. And in our own way, I know we're trying to keep moving forward at a different pace. So how do we do that? Well, the author of Hebrews helps us out here. He tells us to run with perseverance, the race that is set before us, and he tells us how to do that. Remember the verse says, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Look to Jesus. Your race might have turned into a slow walk for the time being. You might be walking around your neighborhood again and again, like we are, seeing the same scenery every day. You might be missing the fast pace of your practice at track, or you might be missing the high speed of the treadmill at your gym. Even though those things have changed, you still have Jesus. Jesus goes before you. He is leading the way. He is filling you with his love and grace. Hebrews describes Jesus in more detail as the author goes on to say, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. That summary of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus really gives us an impact. Jesus knew that the joy of resurrection was on the other side of the cross, so he persevered through death itself in order to reach the empty tomb. Jesus took on our sin and shame. He persevered through them to give us his love and grace. Jesus persevered through the darkness of the grave so he could be raised up to dwell with God in everlasting glory. Jesus is our model of how to persevere. Look to him. He has traveled this road before. Pray to him. In your heart, you will hear him cheering 
you on during this time of social and physical separation. Jesus loves you, and he will give you his joy in the midst of this time and after this crisis has passed. I am persevering for the sake of my family and for our church family, for healthcare workers who are doing their best at this time and giving up so much. And I am persevering for our community as a whole. Every day I'm doing my best to look to Jesus. I am relying on his strength and courage to lead me on. Keep persevering, my friends. Jesus is with you and he will help you through this. I want to finish this video with a different version of these same verses from Hebrews chapter 12. These are from The Message, a paraphrase of the Bible written by Eugene Peterson. There's just something about this version that I really like. There's an informality and an ease to it, and I hope you'll find it encouraging too. Here's The Message. Do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blazed the way all these veterans cheering us on. It means that we'd better get on with it. Strip down, start running, and never quit. No extra spiritual fat, no parasitic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished the race we're in. Study how he did it, because he never lost sight of where he was headed, that exhilarating finish in and with God. He could put up with anything along the way, cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there in the place of honor, right alongside God. When you find yourselves flagging in your faith, go over that story again, item by item, that long list of hostility he plowed through. That will shoot adrenaline into your souls. My friends, I hope that God's word will keep shooting adrenaline into your souls as you have this very slowed down pace of life. Pastor Eric and I are here for you. Please reach out if we can be of support or help. Our whole congregation is praying for one another and we are staying spiritually connected through this time. For more videos and Bible reading suggestions and children's activities and family activities, please visit our church website, rlcmilford.com slash connect. Be at peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.